Hi. The Kardashians recently announced their last season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and it seems like the Kardashian era is coming to an end. Don't use your Billy and Billy. Billy. Stop. Okay. Some people love and respect the Kardashians and all of their business ventures, and others, if you saw my Kardashians and their scams video, feel like a lot of the businesses that the Kardashians partake in are pretty shady. But at least to me, there's one Kardashian venture that has always perplexed me for so many reasons, and that is Poosh. Is Kourtney Kardashian, the founder of Poosh, a wellness and lifestyle blog type of site, scamming us all and ripping off goop? Or is this all an elaborate joke? Are we all just on Kourtney Kardashian's rendition of pranked? Let's find out. But first, before we get into it, if you like deep dives and like to analyze, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, it helps boost the video into the YouTube algorithm a little bit more. And today's comment highlight is this one. If you want to be featured in the next video, leave an interesting or funny comment down below. And well, let's get into it. Poosh is a health and lifestyle website created by Kourtney Kardashian meant to turn the Kardashian lifestyle into a commodity. Not that it wasn't already, but in a very goop-esque approach. But before we get into the more problematic aspects of Poosh, Let's actually just look at the site itself and see what's on there. Poosh has some great relationship advice articles that are totally from qualified sources and aren't dangerous or misleading at all. For example, the article titled, Are These Red Flags Hiding in Your Relationship? And the entire article, you're supposed to take a quiz to find out if your relationship has red flags. A lot of these quiz questions are kind of subjective or more complex than just a yes or no answer. Like for example, does your partner bring you joy? Yes or no. Does your partner bring value to the relationship? Does your partner speak your apology language? That's such an LA thing to say, if I'm being completely honest. I just love those relationship advice articles that just boil down really complex and intricate relationship problems into just like, does he speak your apology language? No, then that's a red flag. Let's see what else is in this relationship advice column of Poosh. Are nipple orgasms real? That's... That's an article, okay. And the entire article is all about that and how to achieve that. So, you know, there's some variety on the Poosh website. There's also some great fashion articles like this one, the accessory you can wear every season that is informing you that you too and the general public can wear a hat every season. Truly transformative, truly mind-blowing. I, I would have had no idea. No idea until the Poosh site told me that I can wear a hat whenever I want. Groundbreaking stuff here. And on top of that, Poosh is coming out with a health and wellness website. And you can read all about it in the article, What is Poosh Your Wellness? Poosh Your Wellness is supposedly an online virtual fitness festival. Interesting. What does the Poosh Wellness Festival mean to us? I am so excited to bring you guys our first ever Poosh Your Wellness Festival, says Kourtney Kardashian, Poosh's CEO. It is going to take everything we talk about on the site and bring it to life in a day-long virtual experience. Poosh Your Wellness Festival is a first-to-market, one-of-a-kind virtual summit. Summit? Okay that will consist of expert-led panels and Poosh-approved experiences. So what is the price for this online virtual health and wellness festival? General admission into this virtual festival is $25, 
which I, I wouldn't say that's ridiculous, but I'm also like with the countless like free yoga classes on YouTube and fitness classes and fitness content and countless of informational content out there that you can get for free from experts. Do you really have to pay $25 to go to a virtual summit? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, you do you. If that's what you wanna do with your money, that's fine. Just interesting to get a premium pass to this virtual online wellness summit is $250. There's a pre-show live virtual group Zoom meet and greet with Kourtney Kardashian and the chance to have your questions answered by Kourtney. Poosh approved gifts valued at $400, physical products sent directly to premium ticket holders. I mean, that's pretty cool. Access to all Poosh Your Wellness panel video programming and experience. Virtual gift bag with exclusive offers and discounts. As part of the event, Poosh will also be donating to support Oceana, a nonprofit ocean conservation organization. I think that's awesome. That's great. And this is what is going to take place in the Push Your Wellness Festival. Session one will be an opening keynote and matcha ceremony. Court and Sarah will kick off the day with a new take on our matcha lattes. So you get to witness that amazingness. Session two will be a glutes workout plus post-workout smoothie tutorial partnership with Vital Proteins, which they sell on their site coincidentally. Session three, how to detox your shower routine in partnership with J.R. Watkins, where an expert from the J.R. Watkins brand will share tips on how to detox your shower routine with the help of a few key products from J.R. Watkins. Two out of the three sessions so far are basically just giant advertisements for products, the Vital Proteins and the J.R. Watkins. So you're paying to watch ads, you know? Session four will be self-hypnosis to help you live your best life. Live your best life. I would actually rather hypnotize myself to live something other than my life. Like I don't want to hypnotize myself into living reality. I'm already doing that. I would rather hypnotize myself into escaping reality, you know? Then session five, a clean eats cooking demo with Poosh approved plant-based milk recipes in partnership with Elmhurst. Another partnership with a brand. There's a lot to unpack with all of this. A lot of it is just like self-hypnotize, detox or shower routine, all of that. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I do get slightly triggered whenever I hear the word clean eating. Because what does that even mean? What food is dirty? And usually the word clean in relation to diet is used to perpetuate like really unhealthy diet culture mentalities. So whenever I hear the word clean eating, it makes me want to vomit. And the sessions continue going on and on. I would say more than half of them have partnerships with a brand where the entire session is all about showcasing how to use that brand's products, which a lot of them are pretty expensive. It's one thing if you're giving out content for free to partner with brands, but to have to pay for access to a seminar where most of the seminar is containing partnerships with brands, it just, it, Poosh also has some really great and just super informative YouTube videos that everyone needs to watch and needs to have in their life. Since my video on the Kardashian scams, where I briefly mentioned Poosh and their products, it seems like, though I could be misremembering, that Poosh actually got rid of a lot of the products that it sells and only sells a really small amount of products 
all of which make zero sense to me. Of course, Poosh sells the Positively Poosh Ultrasonic Essential Oil Diffuser Kit for $80. They also sell the Little House Confections Poosh Midsize Luxury Cake which is an olive oil cake that you purchase online, which I have never seen before, but interesting. You can purchase a olive oil cake. They are of course also selling the Vital Proteins X Poosh Blueberry and Lemon Collagen Vibes, which is $44, and the Pink Moon Milk Collagen Latte, which is $49. So fairly expensive for like a supplement that you add into drinks. You can also buy the DMH Aesthetics LED Light Shield Mask, which is $190. So what is it that makes Poosh so problematic that it ends up on my channel? First, let's talk about promoting diet culture to the young and impressionable. While the Poosh website claims that you don't need to follow a specific diet and instead just an overall healthy lifestyle, a lot of the recipes that they offer can be seen as kind of restrictive. They also talk a, a lot, lot about unproven or unstudied diets, like eating gluten-free and lactose-free, whether or not you're allergic, of course, don't eat those items if you are allergic, and other bizarre concepts like how to eat right according to your blood type. This whole focus on eating right and eating healthy, coupled with their focus of body image, A lot of the articles on the site can be seen as really toxic and dangerous to the young Kardashian follower base. And on top of that, they often promote and sell pretty expensive supplements that their audience might think they need to live this healthy, clean and fit lifestyle. Speaking from personal experience, I feel like when you're young, you look up to public figures a lot more and also are a lot more susceptible to diet scams and all this online conversation around how you need to look, what you need to eat, and how active you need to be. So I worry that a lot of the content on Poosh could be extremely dangerous and promote toxic diet culture to the young fans and followers of the Kardashians. That's the one thing that Goop doesn't have, that Poosh has. I don't know of many teenagers who follow and look up to Gwyneth Paltrow, but there's a lot of young kids and teenagers who look up to the Kardashians and are gonna wanna follow in their footsteps and in their lifestyle so they can look like them and be like them. So when you're promoting all of these really dangerous diet ideas to really young and impressionable people, I think that's kind of crossing the line. Also, in general, Poosh promotes extremely expensive health products. Even if they're not the ones selling them, they're still promoting this lifestyle of incorporating these extremely expensive and extravagant products into your life to live the Poosh life. For example, for the launch of Poosh, Kourtney Kardashian sent out a push box to a bunch of celebrities, like a PR box, but the total value of all of the contents in the box was $3,500. That may be nothing if you're a celebrity or living this rich and extravagant LA life, but for the everyday consumer, that's extremely unrealistic and unattainable. It seems like Kourtney Kardashian realized that Barbara Sturm skincare was not going to mesh well with a young teen audience and instead switched it up to the workout and fitness focus with Push Your Wellness. But by far the weirdest thing about Goop to me and to a lot of others is how similar it is to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. I mean, if you just look at the website, the promo photos, the logo, I mean, it really seems like just a blatant copy of Goop and that not much was really switched around. 
I mean, a lot of companies do copy each other. If you look at Uber and Lyft or all of the food delivery sites that are whatever they're called, Grub Eats Mate. But to blatantly copy a celebrity lifestyle brand as your own celebrity lifestyle brand is a little different. And I at least personally have never seen that before. First, we'll start with the name Poosh. Now, Kourtney Kardashian claims that Poosh was a nickname for her daughter that she decided to name the company after. But if you didn't know, Gwyneth Paltrow came out with the site named Goop and the supposed story for that is that all great tech companies have two O's in it. You know, Google, Facebook, Amazon, all those, which is why Goop ended up having two O's in the title. I do think it's kind of a strange coincidence that Kourtney Kardashian's daughter's nickname just happened to have two O's in it as well. On the Goop website, Gwyneth Paltrow calls herself GP. Cringe, I know. And then on the Poosh website, Kourtney Kardashian calls herself KMK. Cringe, Cringe, I know. I know. <laughs> and all of the content is just extremely similar woo-woo content, celebrity lifestyles that are just so out of touch with reality and so far away from any scientific basis, telling women to do weird things with their bodies in the name of alternative health and to purchase overpriced woo-woo items all in the quest to maintain your womanly bits. I really don't know what the end goal here is. But anyways, what are your thoughts on Poosh? Is it okay that it's basically just a blatant copy of Goop? I mean, do we really need any more goopiness in this world? At least I feel like Poosh has enough self-awareness to not sell an overpriced vagina-scented candle. So there's that. Uh -oh.